also going to mention this. Um, I recently went to uh, watch Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. And um, don't get me wrong, I'm probably the worst person to judge these movies because, like an idiot, I haven't watched any other Guardians of the Galaxy before in my entire life. I've never watched a single one. So this is the first time I've watched one of these movies ever in my entire life. Ever, 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 ever. So because of that, maybe I'm coming at it from the wrong point of view. But categorically, I'm not going to lie, that may be one of the worst things I've ever watched in my entire life. It was so fucking shit so shit so boring um i legitimately felt like i was gonna fall asleep at many many occasions during the time that i was in there watching that shit um i couldn't wait until it was over and i was really starting to question my own sanity because everybody around me was having such a great time they were all giggling and laughing and really enjoying what they were seeing on on that screen and i couldn't figure it out i was like how the fuck are these guys liking what they're seeing here what am i not getting but then I realized that these sort of movies, I think this is the reason why people kind of, you know, scoff at them in general and why they do so good at the box office. They appeal to normies, which is not a bad thing, but they do generally appeal to normies. Normies are the main, I feel like, um, are the main audience for these type of movies. I don't think if you're not a normie, if you're not somebody that doesn't enjoy Taylor Swift music, if you don't think Harry Styles is cool, it's very hard to watch Guardians of the Galaxy and take that shit seriously. It's very difficult to watch that and have it, not even take it seriously, sorry. It's very good to enjoy stuff like this if you're not a fan of Harry Styles, if you don't think, you know, Taylor Swift's amazing, um, if you don't think James Corden is one of the finest people in the world, if you don't rush back home and watch Jimmy Fallon. Um, I don't know, man. Whatever. I can't think of anything other than normie. But it, and it's not even a slight. It's just like a general observation of it and the reason why i'm kind of a bit upset about it is that i feel a little bit like i feel like comic book movies in general for some reason i don't know why this has happened again being somebody that's bought comics for you know the majority of my life and stuff and followed it for the majority of my life it's just upsetting that the only version of like serious comic book movies that you have or tv shows mostly come from like animations um there's not a lot of like movies nowadays that kind of deal with um you know from the marvel dc universe that are somewhat a reflection of the comic books most of it is just this weird slapstick comedy type shit thing that they do that isn't to me funny in the slightest bit whatsoever um it's kind of cringe to be completely honest but people absolutely love it and lap it up which again, like I said, it just made me question my own sanity because I was in there watching it thinking like, well, like, what am I not getting? Why am I falling asleep? Why am I kind of, you know, rolling my eyes in this dark cinema at all this flipping corny jokes, at this nonsensical plot, um, at this like, whatever. I, I, just, I just couldn't understand it. And then I realized, oh, this wasn't made for me. This was made for people who like this type of shit who enjoyed that type of humor and even just some little musical interludes that uh, there will be bits in it where like i don't know they played um the, the the raccoon character will play like a song on the on the on the on the on the flipping um on the ipod type of thing and i legitimately thought it was like i legitimately thought that whole thing again maybe it maybe it's, it's featured it's maybe it's a prominent thing in Guardians of the galaxy but i feel like the whole playing of the music thing was just an excuse not to have interesting bits of writing Instead of actually writing an interesting bit of the story and developing it, they just play the song. So it turned into some. It just turned into La La Land out of the out of the blue, and then you were just left there like, "What? Are you? Am I meant to clap? Should I stand up? Should I do a two step? Like, what the hell is going on here? Why are we sitting here listening to this stuff? Like, what are we doing here? I really couldn't answer it in the slightest. It's really, really strange. And um, yeah, it just I left it not knowing why what the things that are happening were happening why i should care the adam warlock character like god almighty legitimately one of the worst things i've watched in my life but then i watch i go on google i see the news and they're saying that it's going to have one of the largest box offices people are buying tickets in their droves and like we went quite late and the room that we were watching it in was kind of small but it was fairly full up and shit people were coming in there late eager to see it waiting for the credits to see all the after credit scenes and shit so clearly 
I'm in the minority in terms of thinking it was terrible. Clearly, maybe I just don't get it. But oh my God, what an incredible waste of two and a half hours. I'll never get back. And if you try and tell me now, oh, Ag, what was the story? <laughs> Shrug shoulders. What was the story? I don't know. Some people thought some shit got blown up. Some jokes were made. In the end, everything was okay. <laughs> that was it. There was some sort of conflict there to resolve and in the end it worked out. That was it. Nothing else interesting happened in it in the slightest. It was legitimately, legitimately one of the worst things I've watched in my entire life. There were parts of it where I was sitting down thinking like, this is like a weird kind of like parody of The Boys, it felt like. But I was like, hold on, no it isn't. The Boys is meant to be a parody and satire of traditional superhero movies. Like, that's what it should be. But then it can't, you know what I mean? Like, th that's how much of a flipping mind fuck, awful, average thing it was. It was just weird. And legitimately, everybody around me was having the time of their lives. They were laughing at every little one liner, every little quip, every little musical interlude that kind of tied into the sub thing that was happening on screen. Like, the talking dog. <laughs> <laughs> people fucking love the talking dog <laughs> they love the talking dog they were so happy that there was this talking dog thing they were over the moon this talking dog was literally 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 winning the entire people in the flipping um cinema room that we were in i just couldn't understand it i really couldn't and i left there thinking you know what at least i gave this sort of stuff a go and i'm actually happy i went into it blind i went into it with no knowledge of the movie franchise itself i did no research prior i purposely did that and i'm glad i did but oh my god what a waste of two and a half hours legitimately what a waste of two and a half hours it might have been two hours on the dot but it legitimately felt like two and a half hours and i'm so happy it's over i really really am 